Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're going to tour the city after the update has been made. Now, you all remember what it looked like before the update, right? I hope so. Okay, here we go. Again, there's the green screen. Again, there's the little bus stop. Again, there's the Lego Worlds sign I made. There's the big letters, Brick City. There's our welcome sign. There's Emmett's apartment building. Hmm, notice anything different? Yeah, you can now see through the windows, unlike before, where it was all, yeah, glow before. Yeah, now because of the way the uh, uh, the way it works now, you, I made the window see-through because the way that the my uh, computer can handle the graphics a little better after the update, even when uh, doing this. And again, inside of the movie theater, there's all the seats, and of course, you remember upstairs and whatnot. What, what's great about this with the with window with the windows is I don't have to go inside to show you what it looks like inside. I can stay right outside and just move the camera around and then you can see what it looks like. Of course, now that you can see through the windows, you see all the other floors are not uh, decorated. Whee! Boof! And again, there's the backyard. Here's the parking lot. Thanks to the way the camera, the build camera works now, instead of taking shells made by somebody else and putting them inside this door here, I just put, built these inside the store because of the way the new build camera works, I was able to do this without <laughs> killing, uh, without wanting to strangle the game. And I updated the police and fire departments, gave them bigger windows using the new build mode. I was able to do that. And finally we have our little park. Put some trees in, some picnic benches, some little benches to sit underneath the trees with, and of course little lights. I want to put like, in the center here I want to put like a gazebo. And I don't think we need to go through the train again, do we? Nah, probably not. Yeah, we're trying to forgo doing the same things all over again. great about this now you can see inside these pre-built structures and see that they were uh, that they have objects inside of them without me having to actually go inside of them like I said earlier There's boy and girl. And of course these this, uh, Lego sets look better because now we can actually use clear pieces for things instead of having to use just glow pieces all over the place. Because like I said, it renders much, much better. Yeah, you didn't know those were see-through windows before. <sighs> Same there. Basically put, we can now run the game on a on higher on at least higher settings than before. 
even with all these uh, objects being rendered. Yeah, this was entirely hollow. And I, using the new build camera, I was able to uh, put in floors and stairs. Oops. You walk over a little bit, just a touch. And so, yeah, now you can go all the way to the top. Of course, now that I built floors, oh. I got to deck, I got to put uh, furniture and stuff inside oh. this building. It's a car wash and service station to uh, where they repair cars. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's just because of the triangle piece there made that one brick see-through from this side yeah but it's not see-through on that side mm, that's a that's a bug <laughs> got a bug gotta think about that okay mostly I want to show off this new building called Arcadia which, of course, is exactly what some of you might think it is. It's an arcade. All different machines in it. Of course, we got our uh, pinball tables over here. But I used almost every color available in game per, to make all these arcade machines look different so they're not all the same. Well, they're all the same shape. But I made them all different colors so they represent different games. Like this completely yellow one. That could easily be, well, Pac-Man. What else? And it is the right color, yellow. So you can't confuse it with this yellow. That yellow and that yellow are different. This is a kind of a green, uh, yellow green, while well, that is completely yellow. I do hope all these colors look different because <laughs> I did go through the um, in uh, Lego Digital Designer when I made this, where I made this, and just chose each color one by uh, one by one as I painted these. Well, except for of course the screens. All the screens I decided would be glow to represent that. Well, they're on. <laughs> And of course, here I made the little boot, uh, the little uh, place where the guy sits whenever you uh, want to win prizes from ski ball. Which is strange; I didn't put any ski ball machines in here. <laughs> but I figured, well, I'll leave it like that because you know it'll represent the ca the cashier where you get your tokens. And so you can play the games using tokens instead of using quarters. And of course, the uh, what's great about all the glow is it looks kind of like a certain movie that came out in the 80s. <laughs> Which was kind of the ideal to hear. I wanted to make a, a totally 80s style arcade by having it look very much like a certain movie that came out at the same time that arcades were a big thing. It does look kind of like it, doesn't it? <laughs> and I was listening to the music from said film while I was uh, building this in Lego Digital Designer. Just, you know, for inspiration, so I would go, oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of more or less how it worked. And of course, the main thing I did is I wanted the sign to be stylized. I didn't want it to look like all the other signs in the city. I wanted it to, to basically look like a font of some kind. A, a very 80s style or arcade font. 
that you would find on arcades from that time period. And of course, the other new building that I built in LEGO Digital Designer is this, the bus depot. And on the inside we have our little ticket booths and soda machine, snack machine, and of course, ah, and of course restrooms, men's on, on this side and women's on that side, and all these little benches you can sit on while waiting for uh, the bus. And of course a front and a back door. So it doesn't matter if the buses park on this side or if they park on that side. You can still board them. And they'll probably say something like a uh, bus yada 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 in gate one, at gate two, gate three, which is what all these represent, these yellow lines. There are the different parking spaces for the buses. Hmm. Yeah, it's not exactly even on both sides. Oh well. I, I was trying to get it to be uh, even all the way around, but it isn't. <laughs> because of things issues. And yeah, I moved some things around. I put the banana back here. It was over there, but I decided I wanted to turn the uh, old sheriff's office around so it faces Main Street. That's what this is supposed to be, which is why there's... which is why it's uh, four lanes instead of just two. Because this is right here is supposed to be Main Street with the track, the light rail track in the middle which was a goal of mine to as I was uh, doing things to have a light rail track yet yeah, still rendering uh, a little bit at a time but that's just because of the way uh, the uh, field of a uh, a view works on the uh, on the uh, game yeah I'd have to change that why is that sticking out like that oh I know why it's because it's one of those roof pieces isn't it and by one of those roof pieces I mean the the top kind the time the kind that go on top see the Every time I render something with these roof peaks on it, they seem to shift between the actual build and the game. But that's an easy thing to fix. Oh, I have to use this and that, and this and that, and voila. The problem is solved. I love the anchor. That is a godsend because your character can move all kinds of places and it doesn't matter because that little crosshair right there is your center, which comes in so handy for building. In, uh, yeah, even building inside that comes in handy. So all you have to do is move the, this crosshair into the building, and this happens. You can see right through the walls, and you can start building inside without having to be inside the building. And of course, if you want to work on the outside, you just move the crosshairs to the outside, and then you can build away.